Wow, how long was that takeoff roll? Not very long at all. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was insane. Yeah. And we'll try to maintain the uh, runway heading here. Rescue 9, proceed on runway 20 right, full length, 2 pass is approved. Clear on 20 right, full length. Departure and we'll make our right turn. Okay. Yeah, I got the pattern altitude right as we cross the yeah. road. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, hopefully, it smooths out a little bit when we get up to altitude. That'd be great. <laughs> make things a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, those look good. Where's it at? Uh, almost directly below us right now. Oh, okay. I can just barely see it off my right hand side here. But yeah, we're, we're clear of the congestion, so anytime you want to make your clearing turn to the north, feel free. You want to get me in, uh, want to have me to do slow flight? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. So we've done our clearing turns. We're clearing congestion, clear clouds. Emergency landing areas are plentiful. <clears throat> so we will fire beat on and power back. And we'll try to hold west and 3,100 for the altitude. Land two three left with six eight. Alright, we are in the white arc, so we'll the, watching the pitch up. Watch the pitch, more flap. Pump a little bit of power. We're going to weather vane into this wind. Yeah. We'll see if we can uh, get this baby down to zero. I think we'll get close. Look at that. We're already almost there. <clears throat> All right. So why don't you turn me? Let's keep turning to the left until we get this thing to, <laughs> to show zero. Almost there. Wow. I don't know if we get it or not. Holy smokes. Yeah, dude. Okay. So a little bit back to the right. I think we've uh, maybe two two four zero. I think is about as close as we're gonna get. Okay. So I get down to like eight. But back to the left. Yeah, uh, right about there. Hold that. Seven. Okay, look down. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is insane. Okay. All right, and you can, uh, I mean, we can turn into a power off. All right, so we'll pitch down. And look for that to rise. And we'll pull the power. This time we're going to, all right, we're going to pitch up until we hit 50. All right. 
getting ready to stall. And we'll apply power. Yep. All right. Get that car beat in too, so we can get full power. There you go. And flaps are up. And we traversed about a hundred yards during that entire thing. That is amazing. <laughs> my, my brothers will uh, be impressed with that. Yeah. <laughs> I've had it read zero before. Have you? Yeah. Wow. People say that you can get it to read negative. I don't know if you can, but I've definitely looked down and seen us moving backwards before. It's crazy. <laughs> That's pretty it cool. It just says zero, but... Yeah. Uh, okay, so why don't you give me a right-hand turn back to the north, and we'll make uh -huh. that a clearing turn. And we'll do a power on stall, straight up. I don't think we should do too many power offs because when you have this cold of weather, you don't want to mess around with uh, power off too much because the engine can freeze up on you. Okay, we've done a clearing turn. Clear clouds, clear congestion. Uh, we are got. Emergency landing areas down below, so we'll configure, we'll go car speed on, we'll power back to 17, 5, 15 to 1700, get our airspeed down to 60, 65, 60, and then we um, uh, we'll start pulling back, maintain the kind of that, that right rudder pressure. Good, good. So car speed on, power back. Try to get us to like a VY position here if I can. Yep, good. And we'll pull pull power and heartbeat off. Climbing, we're climbing, we're climbing. And we'll know Don't dive down too much. There you go. Okay, nice job. Okay. All right, you want to give me one of those in a bank now? Okay. So with this airplane, this is my friend. Yes, <laughs> I know, oh, yeah. This, so it's going to be some, a gradual increase and probably a little bit more than I'm used to. Definitely yeah. have been a little bit shy on that, so. Yep. We will uh, we'll get ourselves back in the same configuration, and we look good. Uh, yeah, it looks good to me. We look good below and everywhere else, so yep. we'll we'll do that again. So we'll go car speed on. Uh, we will power back. Try to get that VY. And if I do get that brake, I'm going to go opposite on the rudder of the brake. I'm going to try to avoid that if I can and uh, keep my aileron out of the equation. Good. All right, we'll go full power. Pull back. We'll get the bank in. Uh, just a little bit more rudder. You can see we were kind of still yeah. as we were going, not quite in a turn. One. Go ahead, give me another one of those. Close. That was a good amount of pitch and bank, though. We didn't overbank. We never came close to overbank, yeah. which is good. Just I don't know why I was chicken winging you, but oh, it's okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like my reaction to no, maybe that's... try to keep off the aileron. Yeah, yeah. I do that a lot, like when. Uh, I want someone to steer to the left. I like do this with my body. I just like can't, oh. can't help it. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, we will get that going again. Wind up a little bit. We'll go car speed on. Power back.
All right, airspeed's coming down. We're at 70. And we're going to go power on. Starbeat off. All right, we'll get a little bit of bank. Looking good. Yep, looking real good. That was it, man. I, I felt, you it. kind of, I felt the... Yep. That was perfect. That felt like a good one. Yep, your bank angle stayed exactly the same. Yeah. The whole way. Perfectly coordinated. Nice. That, that felt really good. Good. Okay, I'm good with that. If you are, you can yeah, do more yeah. if you want. Or... No, that's, that's good. One thing I think we forgot to do last time was steep turns. So yeah. Let's, let's go through a few of those. Uh, why don't you give me... Uh, uh, let's go back to the south, actually, just because we don't get pushed too far this way. Yep. Make that our clearing turn. We'll try to... We'll see if we can uh, turn around a point here. I know, exactly. Liter literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We could do something down there. That, that'll be interesting. That's It's a really good demonstration of, of the wind if you... Do it when it's in these conditions. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah, I think we just we just did. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, I am climbing a little bit too much here, so Yeah, so go ahead and descend down to three thousand three hundred or so and we'll uh We'll do some steep turns. Pump a little bit of power. Roll in. A little bit more bank. Okay, let's see if you can roll right into one of the right now. That's our sister Mike, turn right at Tangle and contact ground funny. And you want to push forward as you roll out so it doesn't bubble up. Yeah. Those uh, are decent. That's I mean, the first one was within standards. The second one, you, you bubbled up on the entry, and that made yeah. it take you a little bit higher. But yeah. they were stabilized the whole way around, which is good. You weren't wavy. How does it look on here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Figure that's, eight. That's the win. Yeah. That's a, more like a lazy eight, huh? Can we do one more of those? Absolutely, yeah. Do as many as you want. We'll make uh, 3,500 your altitude to maintain. All right. Oh, there's, we got a lot of pressure up here on the yoke. All right. Looks good. I'll bump a little bit of power. And try to do just a nice even roll into this one. Yeah. Bubbling up a little bit, push, push, yep. push. There you go.
one nine or two check. Very nice, man. Those are both very well within standards. I feel I feel pretty comfortable with with those. Yeah. yeah I mean, those are reasonably great. so. Yeah. I got to think a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing it, but I, I, when we first started doing those, I was like, man, I don't <laughs> know if I can do these. Yeah. Also because of the stomach. The stomach yeah. factor. Yep. You know, so. For sure. Okay. I feel pretty good with those. Okay, good. Why don't you turn me to the west and we'll travel out here. I think we can do an engine uh, failure as long as we cycle it periodically. We should be okay. So let's try one of those. Uh, it'll be interesting in the wind, obviously. Yeah. That'll be a good challenge. All right. Western fleet, IFR departures, contact ground, one to one for IFR clearance. Advisors, contact, up information, X-ray. Major for information, X-ray, one four five two Zulu, wind one nine zero one seven, gust two six, visibility one zero, sailing six thousand overcast. Temperature minus six to point. Temperature stayed the same. So when you're doing an emergency out like this, yeah. um, you're maintaining eighty. You're going to use your flaps to control your your rate of descent and your airspeed probably a little bit to some extent too. Yeah, I would generally hold off on using flaps until you know you need them. Because in a real scenario. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't know what like Dylan would want me to be doing like during a. You can use flaps. I would say use them if you're lining up on final and you still feel a little bit high and you need to dump in some flaps and kind of dive in for it. Yeah. You can also do a forward slip. Right. Um, yeah, he's, he's fine with using them. Uh, the one thing that they always say, though, is the part of the shutdown scenario is turning off the master switch, so you need to make sure that you get in any flaps that you need to before, before that. that happens. That's, yeah. like, near the end. Yep, exactly. Okay, so my challenge to you is going to be to pick a field, and we'll try to stick with it. So be a little tricky with this wind, obviously, but... And when you're picking a field and you're circling the approach, and uh, and I know a little bit, a little bit depends on the wind. How far away, like, do you want like right there, or, or is like right there okay, or? Yeah, I mean, just not not a whole lot further than right there, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And in this case, I would pick one right below me because that wind is going to start pushing us hard. So just think about what you're going to have to do in order to keep yourself over. Yeah. Over the approach end of it, you're probably going to have to go significantly upwind. Yeah, okay. So, ready? And I'll be cycling the throttle here and there just to All right. keep it looking good. All right, so, all right, we got a problem with the engine. Okay, so we're going to pitch for 80. And all right, we got a field right down below us, so we're going to start turning over it. All right, this is on uh, both. Mixture's full rich, cycling the throttle. This is out both and in and locked. Okay. Uh, okay, that looks good. So that didn't work. Um, so we're going to want to declare to page tower Skyhawk 4397 Quebec. Uh, we're probably 10 to 15 to the north or northwest. Uh, we have an engine failure. We're going down. Please uh, send help. Seven seven hundred. All right, so we're gonna we're getting shoved, like you said. We're yeah, gonna make that turn pretty steep here. I'm gonna cycle this if you don't mind. All right, we're maintaining a. Yep, good. Below three thousand. Back to 80. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
that's off. This is off. Off. All right, and we'll pop these and the doors prior yeah. landing. We'll see if we can make it around, huh? We're going to get held up over the farm. Yeah, maybe. Let's take it away. Take it down as low as we can, 1300. Go ahead, give it a cycle really quick. Yeah, so that last turn may have been just a little, a little more than it could handle. Got power wires right there. Yeah. Trees, everything we don't want to see. Yep. So in this case, if, if you did think we could make it, what would you do? If you did think we could make it? If you did think we were going to make it, yeah, where would you, where would you go? I'd go straight ahead. Yeah. I, I think we can I think make we got it. it yeah. I think we I think can we make it. this. Yep. Okay, about 100 more feet before we need to go around. Yeah, you would have had it. Good. All right, we're going to power up. We're going to pitch up. 44 knots. Flaps up and speak up. Yep, car beat as well. And car beats off. Yeah, instead of flaps up, just do clean up. That, oh, that clean up. That includes car beat as well. Okay, so nice job. Let's do uh, 1,700 feet here, and we'll, uh, we'll try some of those crazy ground reference maneuvers, see how that works. Probably won't, won't be the easiest thing in the world, but... Okay. Could use something like maybe that silo right there, or... All right. That'd be interesting. Romeo, uh, change your instructions, uh, change the runway 2 left. Runway 2 left, put it in. 2 This is going to be really interesting. Yeah. I don't think I'm getting steep enough, but... I think you started this turn just a little bit too quick, the steep part of that section of it. Let's try one more loop around it. So start hard right now. Probably even a little bit harder. Wait until the very end to start that steep part of the turn. Two Delta, turn left at Tango, then contact ground plenty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, given the circumstances, that was pretty decent. Held your altitude well. Yeah. <laughs> Till you, for me. Until you said that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kept it within 100 the whole way around. That was pretty good. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I, it maybe no, that one. That works. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I I got to get to this position to do downwind. Yep. I'm not thinking. We can go to the left to start out. Yeah. Um, bunch of birds down there. Yeah. Start that turn really hard right away. And start easing it out a bit so that we don't go too. Uh, we don't level out too quickly. Exactly. Looking decent here. Maybe ease it out even a little bit more. Taxi runway two zero left. Via Charlie. Oh. Yeah. And this one's going to have to get super steep at the end. <laughs> yeah, you might have it. Close. Yeah. That's a, that's a hard one. You understand what's going on, though, so that's a, yeah, that's I, a good thing. I mean, on a day like today, that shit's crazy. Uh, yeah. Wind sucks. Yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, that's pretty much the face check right there. Yeah. The last thing he would have you do is say, get me back to the, at least in the direction of the airport without using the GPS. All right. We'll head to the, uh, climb up here. Yeah. I guess it, since we've come pretty far northwest, I, we'd have to shoot around southwest yep. or southeast. Yep. And then, you know, major landmarks would be Fox River. Yeah. Yeah, it works for me, man. You can use the GPS if you want now to. Is it going to be as simple as that? Pretty much. I might. He, he might have you track in a little bit further, but I mean, a lot of people will have them, you know, go totally opposite direction, so he just wants to basically see that you at least are somewhat in touch with your surroundings. Yeah, look at the uh, difference between our heading and our track here, that's pretty, pretty wow. intense. So is, is track, are track and course the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Heading is just whatever you're... Longitude the way, it, yep, the way it's pointing. Pointing, yeah. Yep. So, I mean, we're flying. We're, we're flying, flying that, that way. way. <laughs> Facing that way. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, wind 19 zero at 12, gust 18. Runway 20 right, visual approach to use. Laying ahead of parting, runway 20 right. IFR departure is by Spanko Trade Rice and Flight. IFR departure is contact ground 1 to 1.8 for IFR clearance. Advisor is contact, get up information, x ray. Information X3 1452 Zulu wind 19017 gust 26 visibility 10 sailing 6000 overcast temperature minus 6 to point minus 9 air altimeter 3011 remarks pick wind 1802 19 overcast minus 6 minus 9 30.11 Alright, 30.11. Out. Let's look good. DuPage Tower, Skyhawk 4397, Quebec. We're 10 to the northwest. Inbound, full stop. We have X-ray. Sky 4397, we'll back to Page Tower, make straight in, runway 20, right report the bend. That's straight in for runway 20, right. Uh, 97, go back. And he wants us to report the bend. 
Report the, river, the river bend. Duke Page Ground, Skyhawk okay. 839 Lima. BFR Northwest departure information so. X-ray. Go ahead and start kind of shooting over that way so we can kind of line ground. up. You're on tower frequency. One, ground is 1 to 1.8. All right, mixtures, uh, good fuel selectors on both car feed as necessary. Whether we have altimeters set, instruments I've checked, heading indicator, uh, is, I think the compass, uh, approach briefing, so we got to straight in, runway two zero right. Yep. Um, wind is at one nine zero. 17 to 26, so we're going to have a little bit of a, a right crosswind. Uh, left, if it was Or sorry, uh, left crosswind. Yep. There's that river bend. You see that right there? Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, this is a good illustration of the difference between winds aloft and surface winds, right? Because the winds aloft are obviously coming a little bit more from the uh, southwest than the right. southeast. Yeah, so 3,000 or 44 knots at 227. Uh, wow. Right now. Two page Star Warrior. That's pretty good, man. With the Romeo at 20 right at uh, Gulf. For this Romeo, what are your intentions? Oh, I'm not getting anything on this. Yeah, we're ready for departure, holding short of 20 right at Gulf, and we like the one full stop. It's not updated, there, so. I don't know. Yeah. We're first round, we're only two to right. Make right traffic for takeoff. Right traffic for takeoff. Whiskey Romeo, thank you. DuPage Tower, Skyhawk 4397, Quebec. We're at the bend. 497, Quebec. Uh, Roy two to right, cleared to land. Wind 200 at 18 gust 23. Clear to land, uh, runway 20 right, 97, Quebec. Right down the chute. All right, car heat's on. We power back to 2,000, get our altitude down here. Try to get a nice, stable approach. Yep. All right? Yep. Now, when we have gusts like this, there's this thing called gust factor. Have you heard of that? Yes. Good. Um, you'll probably want a little bit uh, additional speed on yep. on the approach. Yep, good. To buffer that that gust. Yeah. You never know what that's going to do to your airspeed, right? Right. Always want to be a little bit higher than a little bit lower. Pitch up a little bit, slower down a little. Get a little close to that yellow arc. Warrior Forest Romeo, you're number two. Following the uh, Cessna, turning a mile and a half final. <laughs> number two, following Cessna, turning a mile and a half final. Got traffic in sight. Thank you. Whiskey Romeo. Got a little bit of flap in. And I also probably wouldn't put much more than about 20 degrees in for this. Because of that wind? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try to do most of our speed control with uh, throttle. Yeah, so at this point I'd chop that throttle back almost all the way. Pitch up a little bit, try to bleed off some of that speed. Four Air Force Romeo, your traffic short final. Romeo, two zero right, clear to land. Two zero right, clear to land. Whiskey Romeo, thank you. That'll take us about five minutes to get to the runway, but. <laughs> Page Tower, Skyhawk 2, Echo Romeo, departing or looking to depart runway 20 out. Uh, ready to go back to Lake and Home. 
Cessna 2 Echo Romeo, runway 20 left, clear for takeoff, then turn right to, <coughs> to the north. Two zero left, clear for takeoff, and we'll right turn to the north, uh, Cessna 2 Echo Romeo. Cessna 9, South Quebec, turn right at Golf and then contact ground point 8. I will go over to ground and uh, get off the Golf here. Thanks. 9, South Quebec. And that was looking perfect. You just kind of barely over flared, just a little bit right at the very end. It kind of ballooned up. Otherwise, it would have been, been a little bit smoother. But yeah. not bad, though. Not bad at all. DuPage Ground, Skyhawk 4397, Quebec. We are clear of 20 right on Golf. I'd like to go to Illinois Aviation. Skyhawk 4397, Quebec, DuPage Ground. Taxi to the parking via Golf Foxtrot, cross from 10 on Foxtrot. That's Golf Foxtrot, cleared to cross 10 on Foxtrot. Uh, 97, Quebec, thanks. Make sure I got everything here. After landing wings, uh, flaps up or they're up. Carb heat off, strobes, you know, da, 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 da. and we'll lean the mixture one inch. Actually, we're gonna. Uh, you know, with this, it's it's like almost like a pure crosswind. You might want to just hold it. Hold this yeah, uh, neutral, straight. Neutral, yeah. Couple of uh, military Hueys over there. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that wow, weather really vaning, huh? weather vaning, yeah. yeah. Wonder where they're here. I don't know. I see, I see Blackhawks here sometimes too. 